see if we're actually doing anything. That's weird. Okay. That's weird. Okay. All right. Hey guys, how's it going? Yep, it is uh, Catskill, New York that we are from, that we get sponsored from. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me okay. Just wanna make sure that uh, everything's good. I haven't really done this by myself too often and it's a brand new setup, so I apologize in advance. Um, but welcome. Uh, I have with me today a box of Core Set 2021. Let's try to get that on camera a little bit. And I have also a box of collector boosters from Core Set 2021. We're going to get that opened as well. Uh, but first, what we're going to do is obviously, uh, you know, the, the box is courtesy of Kerwin's Game Store in Catskill, New York, and also Poughkeepsie, New York. Um, so I want to thank them for that. I figured, you know, it's the 3rd of July, 4th of July is tomorrow. If you're not, you know, an American or you're not in the States, you know, this, this weekend's just another weekend for you guys. Maybe you just don't feel like listening to fireworks if you are in the States. So, hey, what the heck? Let's, uh, let's crack some boosters instead, see if we can get some fireworks that way with some nice shiny cards and some good rares so um i'm gonna see uh i'm gonna see what we pull so um, hopefully you guys enjoy this and i'm gonna get started here with these right here we got some promo packs to go along with our yummy yummy booster boxes so we're gonna go with that i think the first thing we're gonna open is the core set promo packs a couple of foil ones there Hey Miguel, how's it going? It's just me tonight. Uh, Benson is doing his whatever he's doing tonight. Um, like I said uh, earlier, this is the first time I'm trying with this setup. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully nothing gets broken or dropped or good God, anything goes wrong. So um, we're going to start out here with one of our, we have two of these, Foil Core 20, 2021 promo packs. And we're gonna see what we get. Personally, I'm hoping for like full art Ugin, full art Teferi, you know, the, the usual big money cards, but also, you know, as few temples as possible because I've opened a couple of booster boxes earlier and there were a lot of temples in there. And I really, I really don't wanna open any more of those because it's just, I understand reprinting them to keep them in standard, but getting them again in booster packs kinda, kinda hurts, you know what I mean? So let's, let's see if we can get some good stuff here. All right, I saw a little stamp on that so we can open it up this way. Okay, so that is uh, our promo card here. It's just our stupid arena ad card, basically. I think there's, is there a code on here? Yeah, there's a code on here. So I'm gonna put that to the side because I need the code. All right, here we go. Flip these over. And we're starting off with a glorious anthem. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I'm glad they reprinted this. Yeah, there's too many, <laughs> too many temples. Fabled Passage was a good reprint. I liked, I liked um, that they reprinted Fabled Passage. But um, the temples themselves, I mean, you know, it, it keeps the ten in standard once um, Core 19 rotate, Core 20 rotates out. But it's like, ah, oh, geez, you know, if you opened a lot of Core 20, you probably have four of every temple. Now you're gonna have 
eight of every temple and you know what, what four are you going to keep and it's not like they're not like the shock lands you don't get a ton of value for selling them because they're like a dollar or two a piece because they're decent but they're not like ultimate staple cards but you know obviously they're going to be seeing a lot of play yeah yeah uh you're right um thunder canyon there's other great rares conspicuous snoop azusa um grim tutor obviously um so you know we'll, we'll see what we get so that glorious anthem is how we're starting second card in is the promo eliminate i liked when they started doing these frames for the um for the cards painlands would have been nice yeah for for mono white glorious anthem is really good eliminates nice uh nice good removal and the last one hey there you go speaking of shock lands I actually have one of these already, but I don't think it's in foil, so this is pretty cool. Um, nice Planeswalker stamped foil steam vents. This is uh, this is decent. I like this one right here. So that was cool. I like that. So that was good. And hey, look, another one. Let's open this one up too. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, uh, something along the same lines as that. That was pretty good. Does anybody else love the sound of just crinkling booster pack wrappers? Because I know I do. Right, so I'm going to put that to the side. Flip this over. Here we go. All right. Hello, Neombi, a Steam speaker. Yeah, with the is it the is it seal, it does look awesome. The the watermark on here, and the foiling is really nice. And that little planeswalker stamp on the on the top too is really it was really a nice touch when they did that. So here we go. We got Neombi, a steam speaker. Selfless Savior as our promo for the core set. And I don't know about you, but it looks like the um the text is a little faded on part of it down here on the control and end of turn part. Is that just me? You guys see that too? I wonder if it has something to do with the way just the card gets foiled or something along those lines. I know that there's um, there's some issues with the collector boosters where some of the foils have like lines going down the middle of the card, which is really unfortunate. You'd think that they'd, you know, they, they'd do better with their quality control, but, you know, we'll, that, it's wizard. Sometimes they just, sometimes things just get messed up. And the last card is another Steam Vents. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You know what? It, I never complain about getting good dual lands uh, as a rare. I mean, even, like I said, even the temples are fine cards. But, um, you know, this if, if this was like a breeding pool, that would have been the really good one to get. So now I have two of these. Maybe, uh, maybe see if I can maybe trade this away for something else. So we'll put that down here. And we have one more promo pack to open and this is our Ikoria Collector Booster Japanese Ancillary Pack I believe Rin and Seri that's the um, the buy a box promo um, it is available in non-foil uh, in the Collector Boosters <laughs> yes yeah, get that Steam Vent playset so I'm almost there I'm really hoping we get all three of these. I know I was talking to one of the guys down at the store, and they said they opened a couple of, the, of these for them um, when they got cards, and they got a bunch of the cocoons and you know a Mecha Godzilla, but no none of the Batras. So I'm really hoping I get one of each, but we will see. I don't know how many we get in this. I don't remember. I think it's three. Yeah, four. Okay. All right, so there's four cards in this. Let's see what we get here, what we lead off with. All right, there's the Cocoon. Okay, that's good. There's another Cocoon. Uh-oh, that's not a good start. There's Mecha Godzilla. This card in Limited is ridiculous. I actually was playing a, um, a deck in Standard that was basically um, mono, mono colorless. Uh, it had Mecha Godzillas. It had Ginger Brutes. It had both Ugans, um, Solemn Simulacrum, um, Mystic Forge, and uh, it looked like a fun, fun concept. I didn't do too well with it, but when it did go off, I mean, Ugin—you you get to cast Ugins game over pretty much any time. 
Uh, but then, you know, Mechagodzilla, as good as it is in Limited, I just don't think it lives long enough in Constructed to be worthwhile. You know what I mean? So it's just, it dies too easily. If you can get Hexproof on it as the first counter, then you're usually in pretty good shape. But really, the odds of that happening are so low, you just, you, you really, you're rolling the dice, literally and figuratively, but you're rolling the dice to see that, you know, make sure this survives. Yeah, it was an absolute, I hated playing against this card in, in Sealed and uh, Booster Draft. And, oh, we did get the Batra and its foil. Look at that. That's nice. Good, so we got all three. And we got this one in foil, which is really cool. That's really nice. Laser eyes. That's really cool. That makes me happy. So I don't have to worry about trying to find one of these later, like on the secondary market or something. Just take care of all of them right now. I mean, I wish the, God, the Mecha Godzilla wasn't foil because I like that card better, but this is cool. Don't mind that one bit. So, I guess I'll leave this up to you guys. Should I open the collector boosters first or the regular boosters first? What do you think? I'm sorry that I'm not on camera today. Um, I only have the one camera. So I have to uh, I have to use it for this. So yeah. Okay, we got to vote for collectors first. All right. From I'm gonna guess that that's Benson. What are you doing tonight, man? What What were you up to earlier? Uh, were you, Were you doing anything fun for for this weekend? I luckily we didn't get uh, we didn't get caught in the. Um, Oh, Hamilton, really? Hamilton, nap time. <laughs> nap time would have been nice. Hey, Walter. We got two votes for collector boosters, and then regular... Oh, it's a tie. Regular first, collectors, let them be the main event. Okay. All right. Regular it is. We'll save the shinies for later. I like how you guys think. I actually went to the drive-in theater last night um, and we saw, uh, me and my wife saw The Exorcist and The Shining, um, last night. And it was really cool because about with like 30 minutes left, uh, in The Shining, this really big bank of fog sort of rolled in. So it, it was hard to see the movie, but it was really kind of a nice, like, uh, it really was a nice mood f fog. So it was really, it was kind of cool for a couple of creepy movies. I'm doing good, Walter. How you doing tonight? Hopefully everything's going okay. You're enjoying your weekend as much as possible. As we get ready to open this delicious box of booster box booster packs. I don't have a knife with me, so I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way and try not to knock over my camera. Which would really suck because it took a while to get it set up on this perfect angle. Here we go. There we go. There we go. So I'm not gonna have the box like just sitting here because it just look it takes up all of it. There's the fairy. So I'm gonna put these over here. All right. All right. Let's, see. Let's pull these puppies out. Apologize for the noise. We're just emptying the box right here. Yeah, we got some fireworks for my son too, Walt. Um, he's been, on the way home, he basically sat there in his booster seat with a box of fireworks in front of him the whole time. He was reading off every single one of them to us and saying, oh, daddy, look, this one does this. Oh, this one's this color. He was so excited. He's been talking to us like every hour. Oh, is 4th of July coming up? Are we gonna be setting off those fireworks? Yeah. Um, that's a good that's a good point, Benson. If you are in the U.S. continental U.S. and you're watching this and you want a chance to win your own box, courtesy of Curran's Game Store, email podcast at planestalkerspodcast dot com. We are doing a win a box tournament for the Planes Talkers podcast. The winner of the tournament wins a booster box of Core twenty twenty one. And Thunder Canyon, I was also very sad that there were not box toppers like a Core because I thought that was awesome. I mean, you know, it, it could have been the full art cards, like, it, it, even if it was just like the reprints. You know, maybe, hey, there's your foil full art 
alternate art, whatever, Ugin or Grim Tutor or, you know, hell, Solemn Simulacrum, who cares? There's some, there's so much good stuff that are, that's in this set that it wouldn't have done, you know, it wouldn't have hurt anybody to put that stuff at the box topper, give yourself a better chance to get the card, especially since Ugin's going to wreck the format in a couple of weeks. All right, let's get this show on the road here. First booster pack, Liliana on the front. The tournament is arena only, um, and we decided to do that because one, you know, if, if we decide to stream any of the any of the matches, it looks better, and also it's just it's it's a little easier, I think, in some regards to get access to, to the cards. I mean, it, it you know everybody's situation is different, but for some people, I think it feels easier to to be if you have wild cards sitting around to be able to to put together a deck. Although, I mean, right now, if it's if you're playing Bant Ramp, that has the most rares and mythics I think out of any deck that's been in standard for a while. I think it's like a six seven hundred dollar standard deck, which is, in my opinion, way too much for a standard deck. So let's see what this first booster pack gives us. Hey, look, add card. Isn't these isn't this great? Aren't aren't these the best thing ever? What, you know, I'm just gonna. They're just so awesome. They're just so. Whoops. Oh, what happened? I hate those. Anyway, back to the ones that actually matter. As I almost knock over my camera. One second. See, I told you that was gonna happen. Here we go. All right. So, oh, hey leading off with the foil roll right away so this is these are the these are japanese ones so the rare is going to be in the front in the front of the pack which i guess works out because i mean really who cares about the commons right so maybe we do it this way flip it over now it makes it makes sense thunder canning like if there was a way you could cash out on arena um that would be one thing you know so like you can with magic online with Bastard's Acolyte here. Yeah, I got plenty more of the promos to go. Oh my god. Like, they could have put anything else, like, on those on those ad cards. You could have put a, a different token or something, because sometimes it's hard to get, like, the uh, the emblems. Um, or even just, like, an arena code. Rambunctious Mutt. Wall of Runes. Teasing you guys with the commons, because I know the whole reason we're here is to look at the rares. That's the whole reason that I'm here. <laughs> so let's see what our first uncommon looks like. Should be right about here. Alright, we got Epitaph Golem. I'm not sure, like that's kind of a meh card. Falconer Adept. This card, this card seemed pretty good in Limited so far, uh, from what I've seen. Get a couple little extra dudes. It's really good in the Blue-White Flyers deck. Um, it's not bad. You get a little bit of value, but you get at least one attack step out of it. Alright. Kite Sail Freebooter. That's a good reprint. Um, this will probably still... This will probably see play. Um, I know it saw play a lot when it was legal the last time when it was in Ixalan, so I, I would not be surprised at all to see this come back. All right, here we go, guys. First rare of the box. Is it a mythic? Let's see. Oh. Sublime Epiphany. Now, this card have, has... I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Um, anybody who's played it in paper or on Arena or MTGO, have you had a chance to use all five modes yet? Because... It just seems ridiculous if you were able to do that. Cause I mean, talk about like absolutely wrecking somebody's day with this card. It's like, oh, you know what? You wanted to do this thing? Oh, and it does that other thing? No, no to that. No to that too. I'm gonna make that thing go back to your hand. My best creature, now there's two of them, and I wanna draw a card too just to replace this. Cryptic Command on Crack. Um, Although it doesn't tap everything down, so like you know, and it costs more, so it's not as good, but still, awesome, power, very powerful card. So what is our foil? We knew there was a foil. Foil Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. This is a decent shrine. Um, 
I know I watched um, Kenji Igashira. He tried to do a, uh, he first picked the Sanctum of All, and it just didn't work out for him. He didn't get any of the black or red shrines. He got uh, one of these, or maybe two of these, but it just didn't really work out for him. But it looks like if you're able to pull this off in draft, get all five colors and a bunch of the shrines, it looks like it could be powerful. And then backwater, nobody cares. So first pack, not bad. We're going to actually put our rares and foils to the side here. Commons can go fly a kite. I'm going to put those over here for now. All right, boosty number two. Toss the wrappers. Don't need those. All right, here we go. It's test and training. Skeleton archer, whatever. Nobody cares about shock. Should have been lightning bolt. You should have been lightning bolt. Come on, wizards. Reprint it, you cowards. Just saying. The creatures are good enough. They can handle it. People are dropping Uros, okay? Oro survives it anyway. Just reprint lightning bolt. Ornery. That's what I'm feeling right now. Kind of mad because they should have reprinted bolt. And birds. There, I said it. Concordia Pegasus. Capture Sphere. Sure strike, blah, 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 mass black guard. If you guys want me to slow down and read the commons out, I totally can. Um, I, but I imagine at this point you guys have seen enough of these cards to know what they all do. But if there's anything you want me to go back and, and show again, please let me know. And I'll happily go back and show you what it is. Alright, Mind Rot, we should be getting to the uncommons now. Enthralling Hold, not bad. Another good limited card. This, this might see some play. I don't know. Um, you kind of have to get smacked by the creature before you can steal it, so it, it sort of limits what it can do. Um, but uh, and also, you know, it, it's not like Agent of Treachery, where if if uh, it, the agent goes away, you still keep the card. If this ever went away, you lose control of it. So not as good. Um, but I mean, it might see some play. I don't know. I don't know. Rewind. Good reprint for limited. Uh, probably the only free spell out of the Urza block that'll ever see play again. Well, Frantic Search gets reprinted every now and then. Seasoned Hallowblade. This card did well for me in a draft uh, yesterday, the day before. I went, uh, yeah, Village Rights might be the only great common. Um, but Seasoned Hallowblade, I, did, I, did, I drafted a deck that had four of the uh, white-blue signpost on commons, the 2-2 the two -two flyer had a couple of these guys. It was basically a white-blue aggro deck. And these guys on turn two are kind of hard to deal with, uh, especially if you have ways to pump them up at all. Very, very good. Very nice replacement for a Danto Vanguard. Um, I kind of rather would discard a card, like an extra land, than pay for a life sometimes. So I like, I like that they did this, and it's always a 3-1. So a very solid card overall. And the next rare is Hooded Blightfang. I'd say, you know, average. If there's ever like a Death Touch Tribal deck, this will obviously be in it. Um, who knows? And did we get another foil? Nope, just... Ooh, oh, nice little Basri Plains here. I like the alternate frames they did for the individual Planeswalkers. I thought that was a nice touch for the alternate frame for this set, since there's six Planeswalkers, although, you know, Ugin didn't get any other love besides his own frame, but he's Ugin. He doesn't need any extra love. He's good enough on his own. Map card, what's our token? Arr, matey. Got ourselves a pirate token. Going after the booty. Sorry, I had to. Put that there. I'm going to move on to pack three here in a moment. I was very surprised when they um, when they previewed Village Rights, and I was like, wow, they, they, they put a single Skull Clamp activation at instant in the set, which I think it's going to be, I think that card's very good. So we'll see how much play it sees. All right, going through commons again. Pitchburn Devils. Snare Spinner. 
Where's our colossal dreadmaw, right? That, that's supposed to be our bomb. Plan watchdog. Frantic inventory. This is another really good common. This I think we'll see some play. Um, because accumulated knowledge saw a lot of play, and this is this is just as good. Um, so see how that goes. Life goes on. Not for that. Track down. Decent card. Fetid imp. That card can be annoying. This guy can be annoying and limited. Little one-two flyer. Pretty much trades with anything if you want it to. Short sword. Always solid. Okay. First uncommon. Bosri Solidarity. Good card. Two mana, one plus one plus one counter on everything you control. Not bad. Gormand. Nice solid flyer. Last uncommon is Talarian Kraken. Rare. Basri's Lieutenant. Solid. Not sure how much play it'll see. Maybe it's like there's a local, um, some sort of a white aggressive deck or another like uh, Counters Matter type of deck that, that could possibly see some play in that. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's, it's not crazy. It's pretty good. Regular Forest. And rules card for our angel token. Gotta get these a little bit faster for you guys here. Beastie. Alright. Another Dilophosaur. Gale Swooper. Hey, not Lightning Bolt. Warded Battlements, Revitalize, Keep Stake, Fear of the Bitten. Back in the day when this used to cost two red and not give any other abilities, good old giant strength, plus two plus two. Now it's one mana and it makes it so it has to attack every turn, but I don't know, that's not a bad trade. Maybe even put it on their creature and you block with one of your death touch dudes. I don't know. Sort of a really stretchy removal spell for red, even though you'd rather just burn it out. Throw a possibility. Blood Glutton. Uh, should be getting onto the uncommons here. Indulging Patrician. I love the art on this card. It really, um, it really pops, you know what I mean? Just the, just the reds and the pinks. Um, I would love to get one of these in foil. I don't I don't know that I have one in foil yet, but it, I, I'll probably get one in the collector box, so I'm really hoping to see that. Next uncommon is Warden of the Woods. <laughs> Hashtag should have been both. Yes, exactly. That needs to be trending on Twitter right now. Warden of the Woods, extremely annoying and limited. I mean... Even if you kill it, you're gonna you're giving them two cards, and if you don't, it's a big five seven vigilant beater. I mean, this is this is a good card, in limited. Last uncommon, another sanctum. This one's not foil. So our next rare, we're still looking for our first mythic. Only three packs in, but you know. Ah, there it is. There it is. Grim Tutor. Not bad for our first mythic. I'm very happy with that. This this was a card that needed to be reprinted very, very badly. I mean, it was $200, for Christ's sake. And that's only because it was only in a starter set, and it never got reprinted after that. So to have this available in the older formats, I don't know how much play it'll see in standard, believe it or not. Um, it, I mean, maybe it'll see some. There's some combo decks floating around that maybe could use it. But just to have it available, have more copies out there, the card, this card should not be $200. And I know that the prices have reflected that. Um, it's dropped down quite a bit. I'm not sure what it's at right now, actually. Let me see if I can look it up on my phone real fast. Give me one second, guys. As we look at this glorious reprint. Core 21. I'm using uh, MTG... What is it called? I forget. MTG Trades is the app that I'm using that I typically use for my cards when I want to see how much they're worth. Okay... Well, $16? Still not bad. Still a very good, solid Mythic. 
So we'll put that right up there because it's so tasty. Flipping over, some rugged highlands, nobody cares. And there's that beast token. Good. So first mythic is, is a nice one. It's a nice hit. Happy about that. I don't think I'd I hadn't opened a Grim Tutor yet. I mean, if you're, if you're going to be duplicating mythics, that's going to be one you want to duplicate. All right, next pack. Next pack. All right, here we go. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Scorching Dragonfire, good reprint. Um, solid removal. Another Dilophosaur. Radiant Fountain, decent card. I like this land. Good and limited, maybe, you know, like as a one of. Rambunctious Mutt. I like that they um, changed hounds into dogs. Um, it is still a little weird that wolves aren't counting as dogs now, but whatever. Guess you, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Cancel. Should be Counterspell. Although I guess that is a little strong, but still. I'm, I'm an old schooler. I remember back in my day, Counterspells cost two mana. Oh, get off my lawn. Track down. All right, should be getting the uncommons again. Selfless Savior. Good boy, good boy. He gets a, he gets a treat. Meteorite. I uh, <laughs> I like the fact that um, as serious as the game can be, that they always take the time out to throw some humor in there, either with the art or the flavor text or both, if it if it happens to be. Uh, appropriate. And this one's just, it's hilarious. I love it. I love this card. Don't even care that it's not that good. Last uncommon is Tide Skimmer. Nice card for the white-blue flying deck and limited. Can get out of control really quickly, especially if you have multiples. Okay, the rare is... Oh boy, look at that. Teferi, Master of Time. There we go, boys and girls. We got the one of the multiple variants of Teferi. There's, like, what, 12, 13 of these stupid things you can get? But here we go. Two in a row. Nice Mythics. I like it. This is a good box. Very happy about this. The, uh, the other Teferi, I had opened a Teferi in one of the other boxes, but it was one of the four alternate versions of it. So to have the actual one that gets slotted into blue is is good for me since I'm a collector too, so it helps my OCD to fill that spot. So you're going up here. Good, 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 good. Island and, oh look, an ad card, goodbye. You are the weakest link, goodbye. Not doing too bad so far, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Let's see where that Teferi's clocking in. That one is clocking in at about $44. So there you go. Some nice value on that one. Good pull. Okay, we're going to keep going here. Night token. Oh, look. We're not going to go that way. All right, here we go. Dragonfire. Hunter's Edge. This card is annoying. I hate this card so much, but it's so good and limited. Start to tampering. Library Larcenist. Infernal Scarring. Pegasus. Tome Anima. Thrill of Possibility. Mind Rot. Frost Breath. They have this and the Frost Links in the set, so there's, there's, a, there's a decent amount of that. Okay, getting the uncommons here. Twin Blade Assassins, the signpost for Black Green. Traitorous Greed. Uh, I, this one's uh, this one's interesting. It's sort of a. It basically makes it only cost two mana, so it's strictly better than Act of Treason, in my opinion. Um, good for like a sacrifice deck, something along those lines. Steal their thing, throw it at their face, or just get some kind of value out of it. Bad deal. And rare is... Peer into the... The art on this card... I mean, yikes. And it's just... just yeah. There's just eyes within mouths within eyes within... Oh, God, it's infinite. And even right here, there's another mouth back here. There's another mouth over here. 
just oh man that's like nightmare fuel right there i won't be sleeping tonight thank you windscarred crag and then how to pet how to cast your spells on a night token Let's keep this rolling here. See if we can get another really good card. Peer into the Abyss is a good um, combo with uh, Teferi's Tutelage. I got nuked by that in Constructed last week. It wasn't fun. He drew like 40 cards. Or no. Doesn't matter. He drew like 25 cards. I milled like 50 cards. Skip the commons. I don't want to skip the commons. You skip the commons. <laughs> Let's see. Now the rare's up in the front, so to co totally could skip the commons. Goblin Wizards are token. I guess for the sake of speed, we will go through the go through the uh, just the rare up right at the top since that's how these are done. So Goblin Wizards are token. Nice alternate art forest, the Garrick frame, and there's our first temple. Yay! Usually not super upset to get a dual land in a booster pack, but since, like I said, these were just printed in Core 20. Oh well. What are you going to do? And the uncommons are Light of Promise, Havoc Jester, the, the replacement for the Mayhem Devil, and it's, yeah, it's a 5-5 five, five for 5, but it's just, I don't think, I don't think it's going to see any play. And then Witch's Cauldron. And then we got commons. No, um, no village rights yet. No village rights just yet, so keep rocking and rolling here. Another goblin wizard. How goblins are smart enough to cast spells is beyond me, but we're not going to worry about that. Swiftwater cliffs, and let's see what we got. Can we tell if it's a rare or a mythic? It's a rare. Feline sovereign. Catch rule dogs drool type of thing. Protection from dogs. They really wanted to bring that home. Fierce Empath, good reprint. Selfless Savior. And another Twin Blade Assassin. And then. Hey, there's a village rights. There's a village rights. Insta speed, skull clamp on a stick. Well, I guess skull clamp is already on a stick. So whatever. Alternate frame, Chandra's Magmut as well. Like I said, I really like that they uh, that they did this this time around for the Planeswalkers. That each Planeswalker got their own special frame. So, it's a nice touch. Looking forward to collecting as many of those as possible. Alright, next round here. Ah, there goes my camera. I told you that was going to happen. Give me a second. That. I got too excited. Sorry about that, guys. I basically have the camera like right in front of my face, so I apologize for anybody who just got motion sick from that. Add card and the throw it over there. Cliffs. Oh, ho, ho, foil thrill of possibility. Right there, it looks like he has no eyes. That's really scary. There they are. Now they're just glowing. That's not. That, that's even better. Chandra's Incinerator. I could see this seeing some play um, in like a dedicated burn deck to be like a finisher. I, I don't know. This 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 has potential. This 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 gives it just gives me that that feeling where maybe it could it could see some play. So put the foil in the rare up here. Canopy Stalker, meh. This guy, Watcher of the Spheres. That's the one that I had the seven copies of in the draft. And a Siege Striker. And another Village Rights. And no alternate frames on this one. Okay. Sapperling token. Love me Sapperlings. Alternate art mountain. 
See, this is just, this is just pretty. Um, I'm still going to use the Nyx lands personally, but these are really nice. Foil Duress. Reprinted for the umpteenth thousandth time. This will probably never leave standard ever again. And Necromentia. This card's terrible and limited. Um, maybe see play and constructed as a sideboard card. We'll have to see. We got Bolt Hound. The Black Sanctum. Cheap Sanctum for the effect that it gives. And Soul Seer. Very good removal. This will kill Gideon. Uh, from War of the Spark, if he, um, I believe if he hasn't ticked up more than once. And then we got these commons here, any alternate frames, anything interesting? Not really. Alright. So put the rare and the foil up here. Angel token, mountain, conspicuous snoop. Hey, somebody wanted to see that. There it is. Good card, really good card. Is it modern that's seeing a lot of this? I think I think it was modern that was going crazy with this card. Very solid goblin. Um, seeing some play, it's definitely valuable. Freebooter, quarry and dryad, and obsessive stitcher. Those are our uncommons. And our commons. Nothing too crazy here. But good pull with the snoop. Knock on wood, no duplicates yet. It's still early. Alright. Soldier token. Windscarred crag. There's Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. This card should see some play as well. Um, that has a couple of different combos with it already. Pretty good for Commander, too. We got Tide Skimmer, Shipwreck Dowser, uh, and the nice alternate frame Liliana's Devotee. That looks really nice. I like that a lot. And our commons. Another frantic inventory, which is always good. Okay, move on to the next booster here in a sec. Going back to the um, the lands on Arena, it's too bad that you have to like buy them. You know what I mean? They should just show up in the packs normally. Cat token. I love the art on. Um, on the cat tokens. I think this is just, this is one of the better uh, tokens that they've made. Really, really cool. I love how it just takes up the whole thing. Planes and, oh, a foil mountain. Okay. Always good to get foil basics. And a rare. Ew, volcanic salvo. This card is terrible. I don't like this card at all. Is this, is this playable in any stretch of the imagination, honestly? Other than maybe like gruel, but it doesn't even go face, so I don't know. Yuck. Sniper, Archfiend's Vessel, and another Liliana's Devotee. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Put the mountain there. <laughs> the, the foil was better than the rare, and it was a basic land. That's, that's how I feel about it. Oh, there goes the camera again. I gotta be more careful with this thing. I'm a freaking, I'm a klutz tonight. And I haven't even had anything to drink. I don't drink. Benson, it's like I had one of those double IPAs. <clears throat> let's see, let's get this back up to where it needs to be. There we go. See, this is what happens when I only, this is the first time I've done it. I just knock stuff over constantly. I have no depth perception tonight. Alright. 
Now let's keep going, now that that's done. All right, soldier token. Bloodfill Caves. Oh, the other terrible rare, Animal Sanctuary. God, this card is so bad. Why did they make this card? This is this reminds me of the lands they used to make back in the day that just did nothing. I mean, at least it taps for mana, but yeesh. Yeesh. Wigger Waves. Nice to fairies tutelage there. An Alpine Hunt Master. And there's a village rights. Try not to knock over the camera anymore, guys, I promise. Well, I don't, because I'm sure it'll happen again. Zambo token. Alternate island, very nice. Fear of the Bitten, we got ourselves a foil. And there's Joel Real, Monvoli, Monvoli Reckless. Say that five times fast, I dare you. Joel Real, Monvoli, Monvoli, I can't even say it once. Monvoli Recluse. Just saw this in the uh, latest episode of Game Nights. I won't tell you who won. Put that right there. Not bad. Malefic Scythe. Unleash Fury. Real good with a double striker, if you can find one. Put this on Questing Beast or something, I don't know. Jeskai Elder, good reprint. Tiberius Protege in the alternate art and alternate frame. Really cool. Alright. Let's keep on going. It's getting pretty big next to me. That might be why I'm knocking everything over. Alright. Sapperling. Mountain. And Temple of Epiphany. Meh. Like I said, always good to get a temple. Um, just wish that they hadn't reprinted them like this. I don't know. Furious Rise. Burl Fist Oak. And enthralling hold are the uncommons. Village rights, good common. Anything else that's worthwhile? Magma, just for the frame. Always looks good. Plains. Ugin! There's our big Eugene. There's our buddy. Biggest, baddest, nastiest. That was not a good promo. Go away. <laughs> totally not a good promo. I have so many of them flying around. I mean, I don't, even, I don't read that many books, so I can already have no more bookmarks. But this right here, this is what we want to see. Good old Eugene. Back for more. So he is going into a sleeve as soon as possible. Then we got Bad Deal, Burl Fist Oak, Leafkin Avenger, and going through our commons, looking for anything fun, alternate frames, things like that, nothing. So, Ugin. Very happy about that pull. We've, we've, uh, we've done good with our Mythic so far. That is for damn sure. Grim Tutor, Teferi, and Ugin. Doesn't get that much better. All right, bird token. Crag. Scoos. Very solid card. Very glad to see this one back. Um, this will see some play in standard. Another nice pull. Welcome back, Scoos. Good old scavenging ooze. What's it called? Was that an Oro in your graveyard? Yum, 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 yum. Angelic Ascension. Red Sanctum and the Vryn Wingmare. Um, this was, was this upshifted or downshifted in rarity? I think I remember seeing seeing uh, seeing somewhere that it was it was printed before. I don't remember if it was a rare or a common. 
but that's our uncommon there. And we're going to skip through our commons here real quick, see if there's anything fun. Grasp of Darkness is good solid removal. Nice little instant speed, minus four, minus four. Kind of sad they put an Eldrazi on it when they said there's not going to be any Eldrazi in the uh, Zendikar set, unless they lied to us. We'll have to wait and see. On to the next one. Boyd. Boyd is the void. Gotta talk about the Boyd token. Very nice Selesnia bird. Blossoming Sands and Shacklegeist. Solid. Um. Would this see play in a Modern Spirits deck? I don't play that much Modern, so if anybody plays Modern, you tell me. Would, would this see any play? Decent card, though. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not bad. 2-2 two, two Flyer for 2. That's, you know, it's aggressive. Unsubstantiate. Cool, uncommon. Not too bad. Thrashing Brontodon's always good. Tavern Swindler. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what we got here. Any alternate frames? Anything cool? Nah. Nothing cool with the commons. That's alright. Still got a lot of packs left to go, boys and girls. Ladies and gents. And assorted transgendered species. That was a bit of a Star Trek thing. From, uh, what was it? Nemesis? Anyway. Night token. Is land. Foil Speaker of the Heavens. Always nice to get a foil rare. Which means we have another rare in the pack. What we get? See the truth. I see the truth. I'm, I don't see if this is a great card, but it can be a decent card. Maybe with like, um... Snapcaster? I don't know. Draw three for two. At least it's from your graveyard. Riddle form, invigorating surge, and the dire fleet warmonger. I wonder how soon it's going to be before we go back to Ixalan. <clears throat> Let me go through these commons real quick. Nothing interesting. Let's see, we have. Wow, probably like 15 packs to go. We're only just halfway through, guys. Hopefully, you're enjoying this. Planestalkers Podcast, opening some boosties, courtesy of Kerwin's Game Store in Catskill. Let me fix that camera just a smidge, it's a little off. There we go, it's a little better. I guess, sure, why not. Yeah, I love I love cracking packs. I mean, you're you know, it's not the best value. Blah 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 blah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Sapperling token, my favorite tokens. I love sapperlings. Oh, okay, scoured barons. Foil sanctum of all. There it is. Beautiful foiling on that. That is just a pretty card. Probably only good in, in limited unless you go crazy with something in construct. I think Saffron Olive did uh, a Sanctum deck just recently on, on Against the Odds, so that would be fun to check out. So what do we got otherwise? A uh, Temple. Temple of Milady. So, you know, like I said, always good to get duels if you don't have them already, but at this point, if you've been playing for any length of time, you probably should have them. So, not bad. Traitorous Greed, Archfiend's Vessel, and then the Beautiful art on Indulging Patrician. And nothing else of relevance in the commons. So, okay. Okay, got a Zambo token. Swamp, what's our rare? Oh, foil epitaph golem. It's three foils in a row. Not bad. 
And we go to Pack Leader. One of the bestest of boys. Nice dog, Lord. Miscast might see some play, although, I mean, Mystical Dispute does everything this does and better, I would say. Hellkite Punisher. This is something I wanted to mention. For those of you who have been playing for a long enough period of time, remember Shivan Dragon? And remember when that was, like, the best creature to get? This is going way back, like 20 plus years. So, this is Shivan Dragon, plus one mana, plus one, plus one. Uncommon. I mean, just, it's amazing how much creatures, how far they've come, how far the power level has come since those days when Shivan Dragon was king. It is, like, not even, it's in the, like, beginner stuff now. It's, it's been so downgraded. And Wildwood Scourge. Let's see if we got anything good in the commons. Any alternate arts or frames? Nope. Put the foil up here. The only really sucky part about opening boxes is the... Um, the sorting afterwards. That 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 takes some time. And I got our first demon token. Swiftwater Cliffs. Another foil. Wow, keeping the streak alive. Foil Chandra Mountain. Nice little uh, mountain on Kaladesh there. And Spark Hunter Mastercore. You think this will see any play? Protection from Planeswalkers? I mean, you know, there's there's always the potential super friend deck running around for the next couple of months and protection from planeswalkers could be a thing I like it put the foil up here silver smoke ghoul zombie vampire cultivate use it in an arena yeah I mean it's got it's got potential I mean it's not a bad card by any stretch three three mana for a three four that can protect itself. I mean, you know, it's not it's not terrible. Cultivate, great reprint. Needed to be done. Good for commander. Always good to have more of those in circulation. Leafkin Avenger. And there's our commons. Nothing too crazy. Grasp of Darkness, like I said, good removal. Let me see here. Gotta move some stuff here for a second. Make some more space. Got a big old mountain of commons and uncommons next to me here that I gotta deal with. And I think I can put them over here somewhat just to get them out of the way. There we go. Okay, beast token. We gotta get another mythic. It's been a while since our last mythic. Thornwood Falls. Ghostly Pilferer. Another spirit. Um, decent and limited. We'll see if it sees any constructive play. Then we got Gormand. Furious Rise. Battle Rattle Shaman. I like it. Another good reprint. And we're going through here for our commons. Nothing crazy. I don't see any alternate frames. Normal stuff. Camera keeps moving on me. I keep bumping it. That's a little better. Let me bring it up a little higher. That might work. There. Let's try that. All right, Night Token, Swamp, Glorious Anthem, got one of those in the uh, promo packs, so good to get one in the regular version of course. Broke our streak of foils though, that kind of sucks. Fierce Empath, another good reprint, Tormod's Crypt, another good reprint, Chrome Replicator, interesting card, Dirkwood Boars, <laughs> or uh, 
two Dirkwood Boars for five mana, depending on what you have on the board. Left it to Ferry and just got back. You missed an Ugin. You missed an Ugin, Th Thunder Canyon. There was an Ugin. That was like 10, 15 packs ago. Something like that. Let's see. Mr. Singer. There's again. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's, our, there's a Dread Maw. There's the best card in the set that's ever been printed ever. Good old Dread Maw. Again, going back in the day, this used to be Crawl Worm. Used to be a 6 4 with no abilities for this cost. Now it's a 6 6 trample. How things have changed, and yeah, that dates me. I'm old. All three Chase Mythics, yep. This is a, this is already a good box, and I think I still, I mean, I think I've only gotten those three Mythics, so there's... I would say there's going to be at least one or two more. Hey, like, I, could, I could go for my fourth Terror of the Peaks, that would be nice. I opened three in the first two boxes, which, you know, it's never bad to open a decent Mythic, but when you're opening multiple copies of it, you're like, well, I mean, I would have rather had one of the other Mythics to finish out the collection. Treasure Token. Forest. Regular Sanctum of All. We opened a foil one of those earlier. Interesting card again, like I said. Reign of Revelation, another nice reprint. Needed it. Conclave Mentor. Faith's Fetters, good reprint. And looking for the commons here. Mostly just for this, alternate frames, just because I think it's really, they're really pretty. I really like how they did that. So that's basically all we look for when we're looking at the commons now. Oh, he's going away too. All right. Hey, a griffin token. I forgot that there was a card in the set that made griffins. Island. Chromatic Ori. There's a card for Commander. Good mythic right there. There's our next mythic. Chromatic Ori. Tap or five colorless mana. That's just crazy. There's a way to cheat this into play a little earlier. It's just, it's so, so nuts. Never mind even the um, draw card ability and the fact that you can spend your mana as always any color. We got Pestilent Haze, Chrome Replicator, and Lore Scale Coatl. For those of you who don't know, um, the original printing of this card, this used to be a May. Now it's mandatory, so something to keep in mind if you play with this card. And we go through the commons, looking for our alternate frames. There it is. You couldn't put the flavor text on it, Wizards, really? Come on. It doesn't do anything else. Where's the flavor text? Even like a little, those smiley faces. I'm a big guy. Nope, nothing. That's fine. Still pretty. I'm pretty happy with this box so far. It's been, it's been pretty good. Pretty solid, if I must say. Hopefully we can keep that little train rolling. Weird token. Nice art. I like it. Liliana Swamp. There's a Sousa, Lost But Seeking, one of the better rares. If you, have a, if you have a way to get her out early and, like, get, like, a... I was watching, again, on Game Nights, the, the guy that they were playing, I think his Mr. Infect was his name, he dropped a Sousa on turn two and then had a Crucible of Worlds and a fetch land in his graveyard. Oh, my God, it was disgusting. He had, like, nine mana on turn three or, like, 12 mana on turn three. It was some ridiculous amount of mana. He died, though. He lost... He, he, he died early. So, good rare. Hard for Emulator. There's the Griffin card I was mentioning earlier. Threshing Brontodon, solid uncommon. Okay, go through the commons real fast. Liliana Stewart. Beautiful job with the frames. 
almost lost my camera again. <laughs> I caught it this time though. Haha. <laughs> I win. There we go. Stop knocking into this. And don't forget guys, when we're done with this, we have a collector box that we're going to be opening. Collector boosters. So there's going to be lots of foils. Lots of rares. Lots of mythics. Hopefully some value there too. Alright. Saperling. Rugged Highlands. And... Oh, it's a red card. It's Gadrak the Crown Scourge. Let's go a little higher here. Um, this is sort of like a, a new variation on Covetous Dragon, I would say. Back in the day. Um... It's cheaper, but it's harder to get it to attack. Um, although that died if you didn't have any artifacts. So, not bad. Eliminate. Kinetic Augur. Chandra's Pyreling are the uncommons. So we'll look for the alternate frames. Nothing in these ones. And I'll review the rares and mythics in this box real quick before we open up the, uh, the collector boosters. Next uh, pack here has a Saperling. Uh, Bloodfill Caves looks like a foil. Foil Makeshift Battalion. Everything but her face is foiled. That's kind of odd. Oh, in her hand. Okay. <laughs> and the rare is Temple of Triumph. Womp womp. Not bad, though. Like I said, you know, it, it never hurts to open a duel if you need them. So put the foil up there. Skyway Sniper, Carrion Grub. Garrick's Uprising. This is a decent card. Definitely a pretty good card. And looking for alternate. Hey, Dreadmaw. Good pack. Any alternate frames here? Nope. See what we get with this next one here. We have uh, it's like five packs left. Cat token, always good. Jungle hollow. Whoa, there you go. Chandra heart of fire, alternate frame. That's nice. That's a pretty pretty card right there. It's not foil, but it's really really nice. That's cool. And behind that, Solemn Simulacrum. Look at that. That's a nice pack right there. Got our nice sad robot and Chandra. Not bad at all. Good pack. Very good pack. And I'm very happy about this card being reprinted. I think I think this card is very good. Um, you know, just like a solid addition to a deck if it can be if it can be added in. Beautiful. Get that into a sleeve. Uncommons or Scythe, Sanctum of Calm Waters, Tempered Veteran, and we're going through our commons here. Another Dread Maw. Cool. Very good pack there. They've done a really good job on the art lately, and especially with the frames. Um, I just, you know, I do wish that it was a little more accessible to get those uh, alternate frames and alternate arts. Especially like the full art cards like they have in the collector boosters. I wish there was a way to get that in every booster pack. Just put the cards like this, you know, like like you have them. Just randomly showing up in boosters. And people will buy a bunch more booster packs. But. I'll take what I can get, apparently, I guess, you know, in the end. If I, if I can get it, I can get it. Alright. Goblin Wizard. Tranquil Cove. Try to keep these in frame here. It's a little hard. One second. Let me fix the camera again. All those times I dropped it, I can't get it at the angle that I want anymore. There we go. That might be better. One sec. There we go. There we go. 
Pursued Whale. Well, we can use that for the pirate token that we got earlier. This is kind of a cool card. Uncommons are Hollow Blade, Obsessive Stitcher, and Tavern Swindler. And we get all these commons out of the way. Blah, 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 blah. And we're visionary. All right, four packs left. Three after this one. Well, we got a uh, emblem token. Or a Garrick. We haven't opened Garrick yet, so it'll be nice to see that. Island. Containment Priest. Good, solid reprint. Not high on, like, on money or anything like that, but a very, very solid reprint. Really good card. Um, finally, Modern Legal? Or Pioneer Legal? I don't remember one of the ones, but, you know, legal in a bunch of formats now because it's in standard. So not bad. And we got Immolator, Palladium Mirror, Experimental Overload. I think that's the first one we've opened um, in this box. The Mythic Uncommon. And go into the commons here, nothing crazy. Benson, I hope your box is as good as mine. I saw your comment from earlier. I hope I hope your box is at least half as good as mine. Um, there's some value to be had, so you know there's no reason that you should ever really get a dud box because these these mythics are good and there's some really good rares. Two packs left after this. Knight. Jungle Hollow, ooh, a foil. Malefic Scythe and Primal Might. This is a good card. Dark creature control plus X plus X, and then it fights. Slap that on something with Trample. Pretty good way to win the game pretty quickly. Put the foil up there. Fungal Rebirth, very good card. I really like this card. Griffin Airy. And Volcanic Geyser. Always happy to see that reprint. Go to the commons. Nothing crazy. Alright, almost done here, guys. One pack left after this one. And then we move on to collector boosters. Hey, we hadn't had one of these in a while. Awesome ad card. Oh, whoops. I accidentally ripped it in half. What happened there? Oh, no. Just just a terrible, terrible thing. All right, we got Swamp. Hey, Brash Taunter. There's our rare. I don't know how good this is. I suppose it's good, but it's, I don't know. Five mana, it's expensive. Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Meteorite and a goose. Mess with the honk, you get the bonk. <coughs> Those are our commons here. Nothing. Last pack. Chandra's on the pack. You think we get another mythic out of this? Wrap it up with a mythic? That'd be nice, right? I'd be happy with a foil rare. Although we already got one, but you never know. You can get more than one foil rare in a box. Well, first things first, add card. I won't rip this one in half, I promise. Planes. Oh, we got a foil. Not a foil rare, though. Destructive temp tampering. So we still have our rare or mythic here. Oh, oh, oh. Transmogrify. Finishes out our box. Sort of like a Chaos Warp, only uh, just for creatures. Although I guess... No, okay, never mind. I was going to say if it exiled the cards and then, you know, kept them exiled once you found the creature. I, I was going to say this is good uh, against control, but they, they uh, kind of had that in mind, I guess, when they made this. So it just shuffles everything back in. Boo. Pestilent Haze, Unsubstantiate, Siege Striker, The Last Uncommons. Do we have any more alternate frames in this box? Nope. That's it for that. So let's see what we got. 
in this box. Some good stuff here. Go through all the rares. We'll go through the mythics. Let me find the mythics here. Our mythics were Chandra, Heart of Fire, Chromatic Orrery, Dig down a little bit to find the next one. Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. Animal Sanctuary. Just kidding. No Animal Sanctuary. That's not a mythic. That's terrible. Had to go pretty down pretty far to find the next mythics. There it is. Teferi, Master of Time, and Grim Tutor. That is pretty good for Mythics if I do say so myself. That's not bad. Five Mythics in the box. I mean, five solid Mythics, I would say. So hopefully our uh, collector box is at least this good. That would be nice, right? So let's see. Let's go, let's get to it. Move some of these cards out of the way here. Hopefully they don't fall. They're getting tall over here. All right. Boom. It's so pretty. I am a sucker for foils. What can I say? All right. Here we go. Collector boosters. Stop hitting the camera. <laughs> They're so shiny. I like, I like the box. The box is even foiled. That's cool. All right. Here we go. First collector booster of the box. I'm not sure how they do it with this one. All right, since these are all foil and there's only 12 in the box, take our time a little bit with this one to wrap things up. So foil and training, foil shock, should be lightning bolt, just saying, cowards. Foil wind scarred crag, short sword, Okay, here we go. Witch's Cauldron. There's a bunch of commons and uncommons that are foiled out here. Teferi's Tutelage. Forest. I think this is where the good stuff starts, is after these lands. First one is Full Art Shacklegeist. Or Extended Art, I guess. Foil Joel Royale. Cool. Oh my god, what is with the animal sanctuaries? Ugh, I can't escape these. This was my pre-release promo too. God. Why? This card's so bad. Uh, Liliana Stewart. Chandra's Magmut. Whoa! Hello. Full art. Grim Tutor. Boom. That is awesome. Look at that. I was disappointed for just a few seconds and then the pack said, wait, homie, I got you. Take a look at this instead. And redeemed. Total redemption right there. Very, very nice. Wow. Garrick's Gorehorn. Garrick, what, what? Double Garrick's Gorehorn? <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? And Foil Soldier slash Weird Toe. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. There's the line. You guys see that in the middle of the card going top to bottom? Right there in the middle? There, you see that? Isn't that nuts? Shouldn't that be something that they should be keeping an eye out for? I imagine this is like when it's going through the, um, the cutting machine. There's got to be like a roller or something that is going over these cards that is 
pressing down too hard or it's too sharp or something like that and it's it's leaving this mark on the cards which is really unfortunate um hey maybe it's on my animal sanctuary and i can feel much a lot better about it uh, no it's clean it's clean oh well <laughs> but still grim tutor holy crap holy crap off to a really good start don't have my phone with me anymore. It's off to the side. I gotta I have to find it. See how much that's uh, what that's going for. All right. That's our token. Let's flip it over. Capture sphere. Shiny. It's I, just, I love all. I love the foiling. You know. I just I like. It's just it's pretty. I like it. Since I'm a collector, I go for the foils. Sabretooth Mauler. Scorching Dragonfire, Tranquil Cove, another Scythe, Traitorous Greed, here's our land, here we go boys and girls. If it was foil, I could see the 220, that one wasn't foil, so I don't know. Um, it could be, I'll have to look it up again to see what it's going for now, I could probably do that in about a minute here, maybe after this pack, I'll look it up and see what it's doing. Alright, Fiery Emancipation, whoa. This card, I don't know what they were thinking. Tripling damage? I mean, yikes. Put this put this like in a big red deck that tops out at Ugin, and you're going plus two, take nine? I mean, okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Feline Sovereign. Okay. Whoa, here we go. That's a good one. Foil, Fabled, Passage. That is a solid card. This is one that I don't mind that they reprinted either. This is something that should be in standard. Um, the real fetch land should be in standard too, but I guess for now we'll take this. But this in foil is just awesome. This is a solid, solid, solid card. Let's keep it going. Got Devotee, Steward, Teferi's Ageless Insight. I thought that was another Teferi for a second there. This isn't bad though. Basri Solidarity. There's another card back here that's, oh, this is a full art foil behind this. Let's see what it is. Chandra Heart of Fire alternate art foil. Look at that. Her hair is on fire. Her body's on fire. Everything's on fire. It's all shiny. Except for her breastplate. That's weird. And her hand. That's nice. Look at that. Get the sleeve. Hopefully this card sees some play. We'll see. And I got a foil beast and a foil constructor. There's the line again. There's the line again. Oh well. No biggie. That'll sit in the binder. Luckily it's the tokens and not like the money cards. Oh, that's right. Let me look and see if I can find the price for Grim Tutor right now. And the other cards since I was here. Uh, let's see. Corset variants. Price. That Grim Tutor is like between 17 and 18 or 18 and 25 dollars. If it's foiled, um, they can be a little bit more. But uh, still not still solid. And then the uh, Chandra card. In foil, oh, I guess it would be showcase or borderless. That'd be borderless. The foil Chandra showcase borderless is like 35 30 35 dollars, so not bad at all. All right, next pack. Next pack, we had opened it already, we hadn't gone through it. Demon token, there's there's the line again on the tokens. Something about the tokens. Oh well. It's all good. Legion's Judgment. Titanic Growth. Sure Strike. Blood Glutton. Shipwreck Dowser. Archfiend's Vessel. Foil to Fairy Island. Foil to Fairy would be really nice. Uh, full Art Caravec the Spiteful. Okay. Foil Spark Hunter Masticor. 
Very nice. Keeping it going. Foil Full Art Temple of Mystery. This isn't bad. I like this. I think the line is from when they seal the pack. Yeah, I think I think that's where that's coming from. Um, like I said, it's probably something to do with the machine that they use. Like whatever roller they have that's going through it, either it's too sharp or it's too heavy. It's doing something and it's leaving a mark on the card. Um, but, you know, then again, their foils are notorious for bending and everything else. So it's like, wh why add one more defect to your foils? This is pretty. I don't mind getting this so much as a collector. So this is cool. Keep it going. Hey, look, Gary Scorehorn. Didn't we open like a million of these already? Badger's Acolyte. There's a regular version of Chandra, Heart of Fire. That's not bad, though. So now we have the foil and the non-foil. It looks so much different uh, in non-foil compared to the foil. Let's see if I can pull that back out here. I mean, look at, just look at the difference. How much brighter the foil looks because everything is foiled in the back. Yeah, showcase. I'm sorry. It's, it's the masterpiece version, basically. Although, is that a line I see on the Chandra? There's a little bit of a line on the Chandra. Oh, well. That's not too bad, though. Liliana Steward. There's Chandra's Magma. And a foil pirate. And also a foil demon. And I meant, I meant, I meant regulars and, you know, non-foil. But yeah, showcase one. All right, opening the next one up. All right, we got Liliana Stewart here. Oh, this one's all full of lines. I noticed that when I was moving it around. You can sort of see them like all through here, a little bit through there. They got to take a look at their machines, clean them out or something. All the money they're making. A real form. Dire Fleet of Warmonger. Swamp. Okay, so here we go. This is where we get to the good stuff. This looks so nice. The purpley foil. See the Truth is our first one. Okay, not bad. I like the extended art. Foil Shacklegeist. Ooh, good for Commander. Foil Subira Tulzidi Caravaneer. Nice aggressive card. There's ways to abuse her, I'm sure. Badger's Acolyte. Garrick's Uprising. Full Art Scoos. There you go, that's a good one. Wish it was foil, but this is still fine. Very nice with the Full Art Scoos. Another Garrick's Gorehorn. We like getting a million of these. Basri Solidarity. And our tokens. And there's a line again on the token. Boo. Is it on both sides? It's not on it's only on one side. It's not on both sides. So yeah, it's definitely a ceiling thing. <clears throat> We need to open like a Basri Cat or a Liliana or a Garrick. I haven't seen those guys yet. Oh, we had a different, a different cat token. So we'll get to uh, we'll get to that in a second. There's Village Rights. Opt. Always solid to grab that in foil. Daybreak Charger. Gnarled Sage. Angelic Ascension. Foil Tormod's Crypt. That's nice. It's always nice to see that one. So we're going to keep going here. Here's a Foil Mountain. I just noticed that how, the, um, how they have the border set up. They have a little extra red on the edges there. That's kind of cool. I like that little extra little uh, notch. Okay, Speaker of the Heavens is our first rare here. 
followed by Foil Maze Mind Tome. Not bad. Interesting card. Uh, I really like the art because it's kind of hard to see it on camera here, but you, if you look around the person in the art, you can see like a, like the maze formed around them. So that's pretty cool. Foil Ruined Halo. Okay. Look at that. There you go. Very nice. Chandra's Pyroling. Hey, it wasn't a Gorehorn. Liliana Steward. Liliana Standard Bearer. Okay. Not bad. I love, I love, love, love the uh, alternate borders. I like what they've done each, um, each set with their uh, theme for the alternate borders. Foil Basri's Acolyte. Foil Teferi's Ageless Insight. And then Puppy. Dog and a cat. So this must be for um, Rin and Sari. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Walking corpse. Just realized he had armor on because of the way it's foiled. I didn't notice that before. Read the tides. Swift response. Cancel. Nice art. Looks good in foil. Siege striker. Fungal rebirth. Like I said, I really like this card. I think this is um, you can get a lot of value out of this in the right deck. Foil Basri planes, and here we go on the roller coaster. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we open anything good. Full Art Temple of Silence, yeah, all right, not bad. We'll take it. <laughs> Foil Temple of Epiphany, all right. Not too bad there. Another Foil Teferi's Ageless Insight, but this one is the uh, regular frame, not the uh, alternate frame. Another Chandra's Magmot. Liliana Steward. Badgery's Lieutenant in the alternate frame. That's really nice. Foil to Fairy's Protege. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! Get the sleeve. Foil, alternate frame, Ugin. Holy moly. That is a card and a half right there. I gotta see what that's going for. Hold on one second. Wow. <laughs> so cute. Let's see, that is $146, ladies and gentlemen. That is the most valuable card that is in the variant set. Holy crap. Look at that, get the sleeve. I think this is now the most valuable card I own. <laughs> Holy crap. Totally, totally worth it. Wow. I gotta get a sleeve for this. Hang on one second. I'm getting a sleeve right now. You get me a sleeve. Where are they? Oh God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, here we go. Gotta find one that's not like spoopy. Let's see here. There we go. Put it in one of those RCs right there just to keep it safe because yikes. Yikes, dude. Wow. Yes, sir. Value! That is awesome. Holy moly. I was hoping. I was really hoping, but I wasn't expecting to pull something like that. Wow. That's awesome. I'm happy. I'm really jazzed right now. Let's keep going. Wow, we still got a few packs left to go, too. This is the best part. Thank you, man. I'm woof. That was awesome. All right. 
let's keep going here. Back, back to business. Back to business here. Caged zombie. Swamp. Badger's acolyte. Rousing reed. Experimental overlord. Sanctum of stone fangs. I like the foiling on that. Island. All right, can we? How how will we follow that up? Is there? There's nothing we can open that's going to be as valuable as the Ugin, but there's still stuff that's really really good. So let's see what we can get. Okay, we're going to start with a pack leader. Nothing wrong with that. Primal might. Okay. Hey, look, another primal might. One extended art, one not. That's cool. All right. Get both of them out of the way, right? Another, uh, there's the gore horn, number 376. Full art, cultivate. This is pretty. This is probably, um, I would say, one of my favorite arts in the set. Um, it's just a beautiful card. I really like that they started doing this. Obviously, they started doing this because of, you know, people that do altars. They, you know, they, they do really amazing work. So Wizards was like, oh, we got to get in on that and make these special versions of these cards. So that's where this is coming from. But you know what? It's fine. This is beautiful. I love it. And these artists are getting paid good money to, to you know, to, to paint for them. So no worries on that. Hey, look! Ugin! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Back to back. Holy moly. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have the foil and the non-foil version of Ugin. And I actually have another one of these from <laughs> from uh, from my other boxes that I opened. So now I've got three of the special R Ugins. And there was an Ugin that we opened. We have four Ugins. I've got four. I got a playset. Look at that. Wow. Liliana's Devotee, yeah, anticlimactic now. There's nothing we can do that's going to top that foil Ugin. But you know what? We can always pull another one, right? Devotee and a steward and a zombie token. That ended on theme there with the uh, triple black, the Liliana's, and then the zombie token. Oh, my goodness. Ugin for days. And just to see, the regular Ugin is $50, so... Talk about getting your money's worth. Holy crap. All right, we got, uh, after this one, we got four packs left. Four packs left after this, ladies and gents. So we're going to start off this box, uh, this pack right here with an island. Anointed Chorister. Rookie Mistake. Forgotten Sentinel. I feel bad for this guy. He looks so lonely. He just wanted a friend, and nobody wanted to talk to him. It's all by himself, all covered in moss. Maybe it's just because he's a bad card. Who knows? Chrome Replicator. It's on Mirrodin. You know, they they got to be going to New Phyrexia after uh, after Zendikar. I, I just I feel it. You know, it just they, there's too many hints they've been dropping. It has to be Phyrexia. Anyway, Invigorating Surge. A Basri Plains. Let's see what we get out of this pack. All right, extended art veto. The door, thorn of the dusk rose. Not bad. Foil, see the truth. Not bad. Hey, look at that. Foil to fairy, master of time. This box has been nuts. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, this one, I'm trying to see if I can figure out where this goes, 275, can't even tell you. Wow. It did. You absolutely did. Oh, this is not the showcase one, so I gotta go back to the regular one here. Hold on one second. This one's about $46. Still, it's just incredible. Very nice, very nice. Followed up with a Magmut. Teferi's Protege. 
Full Art Solemn Simulacrum, always good. Liliana Steward. Garrick's Uprising. And then our token. It's an angel and a griffin. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is uh this has been good. This is probably the best box of anything I've ever opened as far as value is concerned. And it's all thanks to Eugene. Showing up twice. And Teffy, I guess, you know. He's alright. He did he did okay. Alright, a couple packs left. Three packs after this one. No way we can top that foil Ugin, but we can still have fun opening booster packs. And my camera doesn't want to work again. Hold on. I keep bumping into it because I'm just so excited. That was, wow. Very, uh, very brief moment of feeling back like when I was a kid and you'd open that first foil rare. The only, the, like when the boxes only had like the one foil rare and it was like, I opened a um, foil arc bound Ravager. And I remember just going, holy crap, because it was right when Affinity was really taken off, and I wanted to build that deck, and I needed one more Ravager, and it was the fourth one that I opened, it was a foil, and um, I wish I still had it. I don't, but I wish I did, but that happens. When you when you leave the game for a while, you end up a lot of the times you end up giving away your cards, and that's what happened, and... A lot of the stuff that was not worth a lot is now worth a lot, and it sucks. But this was good. This is ha this makes me happy. So, Bone Pit Brute. Mountain. Oh, there's a line here. Boo. I'll have to check that Ugin for a line. Warded Battlements. Wishcoin Crab. Warden of the Woods. Carrion Grub. Gross. Garrick Forest. Here we go. Okay, extended art Gadrek the Crown Scourge. Not too bad. Oh, foil massacre worm. Too bad it's not the alternate art, but still. This was one of those cards when they when they were leaking, somebody leaked the set. Although I think this was one of the first cards that was actually previewed, but they were like, a uh, massacre worm is in this set? Are you kidding me? Here it is. Small creature decks just say, you know, if they don't kill you by turn six and you're playing black, you're like, hey, <laughs> I got a surprise for you. All right, let's keep going. Foil Extended Art Thieves Guild Enforcer. Not bad. Liliana's Devotee. Another Full Art Cultivate. It's an uncommon in the set, but the Full Art is a rare. So it's interesting how they did that. Another Bazzi's Lieutenant. This one's not foil. I, don't, I think the other one was. I don't remember. I'll have to look. Another Teferi's Protégé. Ooh. Foil, Full Art, Scavenging Ooze. That should be a decent one, too. That's nice. Very, very nice. We got our bird. And we got treasure. And we got that line in the middle again. Oh, that's annoying. These things should be pretty clean, but they're not. Oh well. What are you going to do, right? I really don't feel like sending these things back to Wizards and waiting like six months to get something back because, you know, there's people who still haven't gotten their secret lairs from the Theros Gods, which was back in like January, February, so... Yeah, at least the good cards don't have a line. Although, with that being said, let me go find that Ugin. Here it is. Is there a line in the Ugin? You guys tell me if you see anything. Because I do not. This looks pretty clean to me. Yeah. This one's clean. You see a line? <laughs> Better give it to you. Let me think about that for just one second, Benson. Cam Dunn. No. Mine. Go away. <laughs> you no touchy. Bad touch. All right. So let's see what we got here. Burn Bright. Forest. Secure the Scene. This is a decent card in Limited. I like this. Sky Scanner. Fierce Empath. 
Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Look at the sunflowers. Just look at the flowers. Swamp. Here we go. Temple of Epiphany. It's fine. For the Glorious Anthem. Now we got one of these with and without the Planeswalker stamp on it, so that's not bad. Foil Stormwing Entity with the extended art. This is a sleeper card. I think this, this card might see some play, maybe in Modern. Um, could maybe be in Standard, because all you got to do is cast Opt, and it only costs two mana. So, Although I guess maybe it would be better if it had Flash, but still really, really good. Regular Basri Solidarity. Regular, well, I mean, you know, not, not regular, but um, regular alternate frame, non-foil alternate frame. Same with the Acolyte. Garrick's Harbringer. Or is it, oh, Harbinger. Harbinger, I'm sorry. Not foil. Still nice. Foil Chandra's Magmut. Oh! Okay, there's the foil extend full art Grim Tutor. <laughs> Holy crap. This has been insane. My goodness. Another crazy good card. Look at that. Wow. There it is. I mean, I would stop, but I still have two boosters to go. But jeez, this is insane. Yeah, you did. You called it. Good, good one. I'm not sending it to you, though. <laughs> This is awesome. All right. Two packs left. One, one more pack after this one. I'm just messing with you, man. Don't worry about it. I'm just super jazzed to open that card. Uh, all right. Land of War Visionary. Goblin Arsonist. Blossoming Sands. Oh, there's lines in that one, isn't there? Yeah, some lines. Infernal Scarring. That's what it is. It's Infernal Scarring on these foils. Demand Satisfaction. Soul Seer. Wildwood Scourge. Foil Mountain. Chandra Mountain. It's always nice. Let's see what we got out of this pack. Full Art Sanctum of All. Not bad. Looks nice. The art is beautiful, at least, for the extended art. Foil Transmogrify. Foil Veto. Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Not bad. Regular Teferi's Protege. Regular Magmut. Full Art Alternate Art Containment Priest. Very nice. I opened one of these in um, one of the other boxes I had opened. So always good to see this, though, again. Beautiful art. I love how there's that guy's. he's trapped inside the orb. He's like, I can't get out. Help me. Love it. Foil Garrick's Uprising. And Foil Teferi's Tutelage. And then we got our nice shiny Goblin Wizard token to go with our Knight token with the line in the middle, of course, because why not? has to have something wrong with it. All right, guys, last pack. What do you say we get uh, one of the Planeswalkers we haven't opened yet? Maybe a Basri or a uh, Liliana or a Garrick. That'd be a nice way to finish things off. So let's see. Last pack of the day. All right, we started off with the life goes on. Obla di obla da. If I get another Ugin foil, you need to call Wizards and thank them. I I think I might write them a nice letter, go really old school and like handwrite a letter, since you know I'll have the extra money for postage. Fear of the bitten, Bloodfell caves. Grasp of Darkness. Heartfire Immolator. Faith's Fetters. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. 
That's the swamp. Beautiful foiled swamp. I'm gonna start with Spore Web Weaver. Okay. I've heard there's some infinite combos floating around with this card. I have to see what they are. Um, Hexproof from Blue is an interesting ability, so we'll see what happens with that if, if, if this sees play in a serious deck. But like I said, I think there's some infinite combos, some shenanigans that can be done with this. Foil Basri's Lieutenant. Regular. Frame, anyway. Regular frame. Ooh, Foil Chromatic Orrery. Commander players would want this. That's nice. Probably means no uh, no Ugin for the second time. Probably means no other Planeswalker. But there's still some cards left. We'll see what happens. There's Badri's Acolyte. Liliana Stewart. For a split second there, I thought it was actually Liliana. Oh. Well, we got another Planeswalker. Chandra. Heart of Fire. With the alternate frame. So we got a couple of those now. That's pretty good. Foil, alternate, full art, cultivate. That's nice. I like that. Got uh, one card left. Let's go slow. Let's go so slow. Okay, it's a white card, I think. Oh, is that a B? Is that Basri? Is that the Planeswalker? Oh. Oh, it's just the Acolyte. Darn. Oh, well. But it's foil. This box was amazing. Absolutely crazy. Uh, probably about as good as you could possibly get, I would say, uh, out of this. Um, we opened some craziness. Let me see if I can get the highlight cards out here. The big, the big heavy hitters. Pull them out. I mean, obviously there was, you know, there was Ugin. But I know that we had Let's see here foil grim tutor which is nuts um i don't know about big money but really good solid card scavenging ooze was really cool to see there's the foil massacre worm i guess just maybe just the mythics we'll go through the mythics So there they are. Let's see. Let's go through them again real quick. Grim Tutor, Massacre Worm. There's a Chandra. Chromatic Ori in foil. Let's find the next one here. That was a mythic. That's way a little ways down. Little ways down. Protege, Lieutenant, Cultivate. Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, yeah, there it is. Teferi. Foil Teferi. Very, very nice. Ugin. Speaking of Ugin, there he is. Really crazy. Unbelievable. Still some more to go. Hold on. Excuse. There's the Full Art Chandra, uh, the Showcase Chandra, the Foil Showcase Chandra. Where is the next one? Fiery Emancipation that had the extended art. Full Art Grim Tutor again. Animal Sanctuary. God, this card sucks. Let's 
So yeah, there you go. There you go. I mean, that is silly. Just silly with uh, with what we were able to pull here with these cards. I mean, wow. So, yeah, really, really crazy good packs. Really super happy about this. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to thank Kerwin's Game Store for the box that we opened. Um, just super, super, super good value on these. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We will be back on the air, I believe, on Monday night, regular time, uh, for the next episode of the Plains Talkers podcast. Uh, if you have a question, you want to send us an email, podcast at plainstalkerspodcast.com. You can catch us on Twitter at Plains Talkers Podcast. Um, I am Aramis. I am going to see you guys on Monday. I hope you have a great holiday weekend if you are in the United States. Um, yep, don't forget about the winner box. That's going to be starting on Monday. Uh, at least we want to, we want to make sure we have all our entries in by then, um, so we can see who is participating. Um, so yeah, we will be back on Monday around eight o'clock Eastern time. Again, if you are in the U.S., enjoy your holiday weekend. If you're not in the United States, still have a good weekend because why the heck not? It's summertime or you know slightly cooler winter if you're in Australia. But uh, my name's Aramis. I will see you next time. And as Benson says, make sure you always leave some of your mana untapped because you'll never know when you're going to need it. Take care and have a great night.